dear fifth semester uh, ec students welcome back to the channel hope you're all doing well so exams are near and i know uh, many of you are stressed about the subject bec 501 so technological innovation and management entrepreneurship is the subject name so today i'm dropping a pure passing package not only a passing package it is a scoring package also if you want to score more than 80 marks so no extra theory no time waste only what actually you know comes in the exam and what uh, you must write in the examination to pass this with confidence so in the next few minutes i will break down the most repeated questions important uh, you know exact points you should write down in the examination even if you are starting today so relax my dear uh, friends follow this package and uh, you are safe up to here let us start and make bec 501 the easiest subject of this semester so let me discuss one by one the super important questions of this particular subject so first of all we have module first define management and explain its importance also discuss the functions of management with examples explain the different levels of management and their functions uh, remember these will be the uh, five uh, sorry 10 10 marks questions over there okay so what are the roles of a manager as per uh, Miltzberg's classification differentiate between management and administration discuss whether management is a science art or a profession just for your answer this is a super important question most of the times it is asking this question so next define planning what are the different types of planning explain with examples discuss the steps involved in the planning process define decision making and discuss its importance in management outline the steps involved in the decision making process this is all about your model first Coming to model second, we have define organizing, discuss the characteristics of an organization and their significance in management. Explain the principles of organizing and their role in effective management. Define departmentalization, explain the process and purpose of departmentalization with examples. What are committees, discuss the types of committees and their role in decision making. Define staffing, explain the need and importance of staffing in an organization. And sixth one we have described the recruitment and selection process in detail with examples. Define directing, explain the process of giving orders and uh, its significance in effective directing. Next one we have defined motivation, compare and contrast Maslow's theory and Herzberg's theory with suitable examples. Last one we have defined communication, explain the importance and purposes of communication in organizational success. Coming to model third we have here defined social responsibility why is it uh, important for business to be socially responsible what is a social audit discuss its significance in evaluating the performance of a business third one uh, define business ethics explain its principles and uh, relevance in modern business practices what is corporate governance discuss its role in ensuring ethical and transparent business practices fifth one we have define an entrepreneur discuss the importance of entrepreneurship in economic development Explain the key characteristics of a successful entrepreneur with examples. Discuss the different classifications of entrepreneurs. What are some common myths of entrepreneurship? Provide clarifications for at least three myths. Ninth one we have. Ninth one we have described the entrepreneurial development cycle and its key stages. Tenth one we have discussed any two entrepreneurial development models with examples. This is all about model third. Coming to model fourth, we have defined small scale industries. Uh, what are their roles in the economic development of India? Explain the impact of globalization and WTO on small scale industries in India. Discuss the government policies for the development of small scale sector in India. And fourth one, define ancillary and tiny industries. What is meant by sickness in the SSI sector? Discuss its causes and solutions. Fifth one, we have defined idea generation, explain its role in creativity and innovation for business development. Sixth one, we have what are the key steps in identifying business opportunities, explain the concept of marketing feasibility with examples. What are the key aspects of financial feasibility analysis? Ninth one, we have explained the concept of economic and social feasibility with real world applications. Define technical feasibility, how is it evaluated during business planning? Eleventh one, we have discussed managerial feasibility and its uh, importance in business success. How does location and utility availability impact business feasibility over there? Now coming to last module, module fifth, uh, we have uh, define a business model, explain the steps involved in designing, analyzing and improvising a business model. What is a business plan? Discuss its scope and the need for a well-structured business plan. 
explain the key components of a business plan including uh, financial plan marketing plan uh, and human resource plan production or service plan fourth one we have discussed the different formats of a business plan with examples explain the process of preparing and presenting a project report sixth one discuss the role of banking and non-banking institutions in funding business seventh one we have what is venture capital explain its meaning and role in entrepreneurship discuss the challenges and difficulties faced by entrepreneurs in starting an enterprise define network analysis why is it important in project management and last one we have a uh, differentiate between pert and cpm with examples what are the advantages and limitations of pert and cpm so uh, that is all for bec501 passing package uh, which is not only a passing package only it is a scoring package and if you understood everything till here trust me you are already ahead just revise these points once or twice and you will easily clear the exams only thing is you should uh, remember the key points of these particular questions no need to go for the long theory itself whatever you are understanding from those type of concepts from key points only then only you can write down in the examination in your own words okay so drop your next priority subject in the comments below whichever subject gets the most requests i will upload the passing package next and i wish you all the best for your examinations dear ec students make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you